pass this yet. I'm going to get myself okay, go on. with this sign. <laughs> That's the thing that's so, what I find so frightening. Oh, great. Oh, here we go again from the totally not communist state media who are melting down once again over memes about Kamala Harris being a communist, which they call frightening and paint as some sort of a threat against her. And of course, that supposed threat can only be dealt with one way, and that's totally not communist censorship. This fits right in with my predictions about a creeping one party state where the Democrats political opponents have been criminalized. So check out this clip, then stick around for my two cents. They believe that she is a communist, that she is a socialist. Yeah. There are these memes going around with her dressed in a Mao Zedong suit with a cap that has a hammer and sickle. So that's what you're up against right now. And, and frankly, that, that's something that she has to address, not, not Governor Walls. She ultimately has to address this because these images that they have that they have created are actually taking off i did that's the thing that's so what i find so frightening well why don't you cry about it that is just mind-blowingly rich coming from the people who have been calling trump republicans and his supporters things like domestic terrorists white supremacists fascist racist literally hitler deplorables and of course threats to democracy that will literally end the country <laughs> But it's different. Here's the kicker. Kamala Harris and Tim Walls are communists. We already knew that. Well, yeah. Or at the very least, communist adjacent. They are both very vocal about their communist-esque beliefs. We are proud of the fact that equity is one of our guiding principles. Proud of the fact that we understand Equality is important, but not everybody starts out on the same base. I think we need to push back on this. There, there's no guarantee to free speech on misinformation or, or hate speech, and especially around our democracy. I really hate that man. And oh yeah, doesn't Tim Walls have a long history of being very enamored with communist China? Do you believe that the Communist Party has been grooming Tim Walz? Oh, I think there's no question about it, Maria. It goes back to the exchange program uh, that he uh, ran uh, and brought hundreds of students from the United States to China. Uh, in the early press accounts, Tim Waltz describes it as unique and unusual and different, a program that nobody else has. And at the same time that he's bringing those students there, by the students accounting, Tim Waltz is saying things like, well, in China, nobody is poor because everybody shares in China as if sort of the compulsive uh, arm of the CCP is voluntary. I mean, sharing is voluntary. It's a ridiculous statement to make. It's a classic example of elite capture and what the Chinese call big help with a little bad mouth. Or how about Kamala Harris's previous press secretary, Jen Psaki, who is known to be very friendly with the communists as pictured here proudly wearing their symbol. The Democrats and Kamala Harris herself were very supportive of far-left rioters who marched under the hammer and sickle flag on many occasions. And just for the record, and to put a cherry on this shit Sunday, a majority of Democrats would vote for a socialist president. So how exactly is it a slur to call Kamala Harris one? And just to wrap this all up into my predictions of a creeping one-party state where their political opponents will be criminalized, we have seen this push by Democrats in the past to paint opposition to their policies and their politicians as hate or threatening. We've even seen their opponents get jail time for memes. Remember back when they were losing their minds about memes of Trump body slamming a CNN logo? Remember when CNN said that posting memes of black people is digital blackface? There is a definite pattern here that's building a case for criminalizing the political speech and humor of the left's political opponents under the guise of stopping hate or safety. John Kerry was just caught on video admitting that the First Amendment is a problem for he and his accomplices' agenda. Uh, and it's part of our problem, particularly in democracies. The referees we used to have to determine what's a fact and what isn't a fact have kind of you know, been eviscerated to a certain degree. Uh, our First Amendment stands as a major block to the ability to be able to just, you know, 
hammer it out of existence. Look, it shouldn't even need to be said that if free speech is a problem for your agenda, it's probably because you're the bad guys. Of course, their memes are completely different and they get very excited when they think pro-Democrat left-wing memes are gaining traction. But as any consumer of memes knows, the left cannot meme. Mark my words, if Kamala Harris wins this election, the left and Democrats will see this as a mandate to abolish the Electoral College, abolish the filibuster, stack the Supreme Court, or abolish the Supreme court and abolish or highly highly limit the first and second amendments what do you all think am i out of my mind or am i on to something let me know in the comments and if you're still here might as well hit that like button thanks for watching make sure to keep checking back for more